larger presentation. And uh, early on, when I was looking at uh, video of my grandkids going on my first out and back reversing roller coaster, I noticed when they came through the second dip backwards, the back of it, I had a tall seat at first, and it seemed to jerk their head around a little bit. It didn't seem to bother them, but I, I, I kind of thought about this a while and figured out what it was. Basically, um, a kid's head is uh, higher than the wheels. The wheels you design, and they're just a radius hooked to a straight part, hooked to a radius, hooked to another radius, and so on. Uh, but the, the child's head really travels at an offset distance, depending on their height, 18 to 24 inches up. Uh, and so the, their head is really going through a different dynamic path than the wheels. And so if, if you look at this, uh, as, the, as you're going over a hump, the wheels are going around this radius, but the head uh, it really has to travel faster because it's going on a larger radius. And then if you're going on a straight part, no matter what direction it is, the wheels and the head travel the same speed. So, uh, very cool. Now, when you get down to a dip, especially a sharp dip, all of a sudden, uh, the child's head goes from, go from going the same speed as the wheels. The wheels are going this speed, and the head is going a slower speed, a much slower speed if... if uh, if the radius of the turn was equal to the height of the kid's head, the, the kid's head would actually be going at a certain velocity and then abruptly stop and wait until the cart got around to this other side and then take off again quite abruptly. Um, so in here, the head's going slower than the wheels. And then if you transition from the head going slower than the wheels to all of a sudden an, a bump, a hump, and all of a sudden the head's going faster than the wheels. So I, what I was worried about is these these little points here where the head changes velocity. We know that velocity is a measure of the di uh, change in distance. We know that acceleration is a measure of the change in velocity. And what we call jerk is a measure of the change in acceleration. In mathematical terms, um, we could talk about derivatives, and I won't go into that, but um, jerk is a real physics term. You can look it up in Wikipedia, so I know what you're thinking. You can call, instead of some, calling someone a jerk, you can say they are the third derivative of position with respect to time. You're probably not going to know what you, what you mean by that, but physics people think it would be funny. Um, so anyway, I wanted to look at this. Um, in other words, you can't go from from going one velocity to a different velocity without doing a, a deceleration or an acceleration. And if that is really a short amount of time, then it really feels jerky. So I kind of, you can, you can kind of see that in the videos and some of the other videos online that the, some of these things are really jerky. So I decided to, uh, I modified this track. I made this radius a little smaller here and then had it kind of transition from a radius to a straight over a little more parabolic kind of a shape, not all at once. And that's that's the nice thing about the, the hot pipe, uh, hot sand forming that I talked about in another video, is that it's really hard to keep the radius of a, when you're forming a, a pipe, to keep the radius right to the end, because in boundary conditions, there's no moment on the end of the pipe, and so it doesn't, it really ends up being straight at the end anyway, and kind of making a transition from your radius to a straight part. So that's actually a beneficial thing in the uh, in the hot the hot sand forming of the pipes. So I remade this track. I, I actually remade the fast portion of my second track with the with the higher drop and the faster speeds to make this a little smoother here on the on the person's head. Professional roller coaster designers have what they call a heart line, which is different than the uh, the line that the wheels are traveling it's offset by a certain distance and that's what your your head is kind of experiencing as opposed to what the wheels of the the roller coaster are experiencing so anyway uh, it's a concern uh, but i think i've addressed it fairly well so thanks for listening <laughs>